plane drops on a raster image in Inkscape version 0 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, first things first. Um, the other day I was flipping through our photo album in Digicam, and I noticed that Digicam had quite a collection of plugins that offered effects. And one of the plugins was a raindrop generator. So I got to playing with it, and I was able to make this image. And you can see that it does create raindrops, but to me, the raindrops look a little blurry. So I thought what we could try to do is do this in Inkscape. So what I'm going to do is bring in our leaf, and, and your picture can be anything. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this corner, and we're going to draw a circle. I'm going to hold the control key down to get it perfectly round. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this once and duplicate this a third time. And I'm going to take, just so I can see the color here, I'll make one darker. And I'm going to do, actually, we'll do something about like this. What I'm trying to do is create a shadow. Okay, I'm going to select the bottom portion. Select the top portion, and I will do a difference. Okay. It gets us something about like this. Okay, and we'll take this thing, kind of get it out of the way, and we'll worry about it later. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this again, and a third time. Okay. And I'm going to change colors here so we can see some things. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get rid of one of these. And eh, we'll scoot this over for now. Okay. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to do a difference. Okay. Change this back. And I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Got to bring it to the front. Whoops. A little bit smaller yet. Do we have something about like that? Okay. Now, take this here. We'll make this shadow dark. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is take this circle a light gray circle, and I'm going to give it a radial gradient, okay? And I'm going to edit that gradient, and we're going to make this transparent, and we're going to make the other stop black. So we get something about like that. And I'm going to change the gradient handles. We get a little, little darkness on the edge there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is draw a, another circle. Actually, I'm going to draw an ellipse. I'm going to make this white. And we're going to give this thing a radial gradient. Okay. And I'm going to put it on top of this here. And we're going to make him a little bit bigger. And I need to turn it just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take this here. And we're going to have to adjust... little bit better here. Kind of want to get it almost as transparent as possible. Okay. There we go. Now, probably going to have to slide this out of way to get to this right here. I'll make this just a little bit darker. There we go. And I'm going to take this and blur it.
Okay, and I'm also going to take our shadow, blur it as well. And we're going to change the transparency just a little bit. And we'll put that shadow right under there. Okay, we'll take this and put it back. And actually, I need to rotate this. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is since the, the sunlight is coming in this direction, we're going to have to draw just a little spot that's going to have to be pure white. And we'll go ahead and we'll fix that now. Okay. And we're going to put that spot about right there. And we're going to change, give it just a little bit of a blur. It's not so sharp. Okay, and we're going to take this whole thing here, and I'm going to group everything together. And I'm going to change this just a little, little bit so we get just in a little bit of an ellipse. And I'm going to back out now so we can see what that looks like. Okay, now I'm going to change the size of this thing. Okay, and that's our raindrop. So now the next thing that we're going to do, we'll slide our raindrop out. <clears throat> I'm going to take the raindrop and wherever I move it, I'm going to hold the left key down on my mouse. And wherever I want a raindrop, I'm going to hit my space bar. So I'll put one right there. I'll put one right there. I'll put one right there, there, and maybe there. Okay, now not all raindrops are the same size, so what I'm going to do is grab this one now, move it around, and we're going to stamp it. Okay, and I'm going to take this one and make it just a little bit bigger. And we'll make it oblong here. And we'll take this one. And we'll move it around. Okay, we'll delete this one. And there you have raindrops. Now, I think that looks a little bit better than that blurry one that we had before. So what I'm going to do is take this one and group everything together. And I'll move it to the side here. And we'll bring in our second one. And you can see the difference. Here we have a really blurry raindrop. And here we have one that's a little bit crisp. We'll close out of this. Put this back in the middle. And that is how you make raindrops. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.